Hi, it's Annette here and today I've got a raffle bag. I have a home bargains haul. Now I talked nicely to my son, um, spoke very nicely to him and he took me to our local home bargains. I did need to pick up some cleaning bits and pieces and I had another list of things that I'd seen on the home ba home bargains? No, <laughs> the home bargains appreciation um, site on Facebook. So I saw loads of things on there, but my um, home bargains didn't have them. Um, so some of the home bargains had the real techniques, but mine's, I got all excited thinking it had it, um, but it was just like a pot to hold the real techniques brushes in. However, I did pick up some eco tools, which was interesting that they had those. So I... I always forget my receipt. I am so sorry, but <laughs> all I can say is usually it's much cheapness and I'll give you a, a kind of guide to what I think the prices were. Really sorry about that. Um, it's probably downstairs in my purse somewhere. Um, so what I will say is I picked up a few bits and pieces that I hadn't been meaning to go in for and there were some bits and pieces when I saw them I thought oh I need that so I'm just going to pull them out as they come. So the first thing I pulled up is the 3 Volution, um, it's the fragrance um, pluggable thing, the thing that you plug in. I can't remember what it's called. Um, yeah, so it's a diffuser unit with um, refills. Now it's Febreze refills. I've currently got one of these in my haul, but it belonged to the previous tenant and the plastic had gone really, really yellow, even though I'd kind of, um, kind of scrubbed it a wee bit. Steve just said to me, next time you're in home bargains, just pick up a whole new unit. Um, so I did that. So the whole unit plus the, you buy them all separately if you want, you don't have to buy this pack. Um, but the whole unit plus the little um, things that plug in was 4 49 So I thought that was quite good. Um, I'll open it and I'll show you how it works if you want to see it. What I do notice though, so what it says is the free evolution, you, you can set it to all different kind of um, levels. I, I kind of set it quite low. So mine tends to last me for ages and I don't plug it in all the time. Um, I do have a fear of leaving things like this plugged in anyway. So I always make sure that I, I would, you know, kind of switch it off before I left the house or anything like that. So you pop your, so you get these here. These are your fragrances. So you take the lids off them, I imagine. Yeah. You take the lids off them, like so. So they just screw off. Okay. And then you pop them. You pop it up in here and then from the side you can set the to maximum or minimum or somewhere in between and then you plug it in and you plug your obviously you switch it on now what i've noticed is it does rotate between the different smells and um, so the different scents so it will give you a rotation of the three of them however it always seems to pick one over the others so you'll find that when it comes to the end that one might still have some in it one will have a little tiny bit and one will have none in it um so because i don't use them very often they last for ages well i bought the first one when i moved into this house a year and a half ago and it's still going strong so that shows you how little i use it but when i do use it you get maximum impact so i just keep that in the hall so if you know if i kind of like tidying up and I want to get a nice fresh smell through the house I'll put a candle on or a wax melt and I'll plug one of these in. I did have another one at the top of the stairs um, but we've got the net gear <laughs> plugged into that that's supposed to boost our wi-fi. It seems to work so I've, I've taken that away from there but I do have other nice I love smelly things. Got them all over the house. Um, I'm blethering away today sorry. So the next thing I've pulled out is the West Lab, um, the bath soaps, these are amazing, they're so cheap as well. But um, these were the, the slightly smaller pack than the usual ones because they are um, mindful bath salts. They've got frankincense, bergamot and CBD. So it's Epsom and Hi Himalayan mineral salts, so cruelty free and vegan as well. Um, and packaging's fully recyclable. So that was about 2 99 but I thought I'm gonna try it because it's got the magnesium, which is helpful. It's got essential oils and it's got a cannabid, what's it? It's not a cannabid oil, but it's a cannabidiol that's supposed to promote tranquility. So magnesium is actually re proven to be really good for pain. So if I'm having a bad pain day, um, I would pop some of this in the bath. Now for it to really truly work, you really need to use a lot of salts. Um, but for this, it just says add two to three handfuls. 
Um, so I've seen some packets say you need to put up to, you know, one, you know, 500 to one kilogram. So that is good. So you just put a couple of handfuls. So this will last longer than some of my usual ones. But yeah, um, I'll open it and I'll smell it. I wasn't going to open it, but I might have a bath tonight. I struggle with a bath though because sometimes it, it's just it's getting out in my bath. It's not equipped. It does not have handles or anything, so I can't go away and have a bath if I'm in the house on my own. But I am lucky. I can't get open. I need scissors. Um, I am lucky. I do have a lot of friends that can't use a bath at all. I picked this up. Um, I am I'm moving away from the capsules. I bought a new washing machine, and there was a lovely lady. Uh, one of my subscribers had said to me that those washing capsules don't always melt, especially I think if you're using, like I, I tend to wash things that just need refreshed on a 30. So I would only really wash towels, Steve's work clothes, bedding on kind of like a 60. Um, so I kind of thought, I wonder if it's the lower temperatures that they don't melt. So she was saying that they can often not melt and end up clogging the machine. So I brought a brand new machine, uh, well Steve bought it, um, and I kind of thought, oh, I really don't want to risk it. So I will use up the, some of the capsules that I've had when I'm when I'm doing a towel wash or whatever. And I'm going to stick to the liquid um, from now on, just in case. I don't want to take any risks. Um, so this is the two-in-one bold. And it's got Lenore built-in freshness. Summer breeze gel. Um, 24 wash now. Just looks like sunshine and happiness to me. I've currently got a bold that I'm using at the moment. And it's gorgeous. But this is a two-in-one um, and with my new washing machine, I think on a fast wash, which can take anything up to an hour, depending on how you set it, the temperature, the spin, um, I don't think you can put fabric softener in the fast wash. So this is actually a really good way around it, is having the two-in-one. And I, to be honest with you, I usually... I've been getting used to using the two in one anyway, so I've got a massive thing all the Nor one time from Home Bargains and it's still sitting there, so I will need to use it. Um, oh, I, had, I woke up yesterday with a really sore throat, so I picked up some of these Jake, Jacobin's menthol, cherry menthol. Um, they're really good just to have in your handbag as well, and they, they last until November 2022, so. Even if I don't use them all, they're kind of the type of thing that you could just keep around, just in case. Um, I also picked up, these are my favourite, colour captures, colour absorbers are called. Um, I found any brand. I did see somebody do a test of the th three different ones and um, one came out better than the others. But um, I kind of tend to find that for me they're much of a muchness. So yeah, these are 99 pence. And I always pick them up. Um, I never mix my colours. I am a right weirdo, right? I've got all my separate washes. If you know me, you've heard me talk about it. You know, I've got like a red and orange wash. But I would still pop one in there in case there was something that had wasn't quite... Color. You know how some colours aren't colour safe? Or Brandon's got a top. And he's paid a fortune for it. And it's got all these different colours through it. So I, I wash it on its own. But I put one of those in it as well. So I put on like a 30 just in case. I'm paranoid it's going to run. It hasn't. So that's good. Um, just a little um, toilet tissue wipes. Although I had been told they, although they're flush. Well, they don't always flush. Um, so I need to keep my... <laughs> Oh, I just know my luck that would happen. Um, but they, these ones are, if you put these ones in water, so if you were to use it to wipe something up, they disintegrate. So I think those ones are fine. Um, oh, because I am obsessed now with hand soap. I've picked up two of the Dettol um, hand soaps, the original hand soaps. And um, I was going to buy the pears because I love the smell of pears. But I thought I'll just pick up the Dettol for now. Um, I'm trying not to have too many things in the house that I don't need. But when I did my um, household and cleaning empties, somebody had said to me, I can't remember the name, but they did an inventory of everything that they had. And I thought, that's a really good idea. I'm going to pull it all out. I did that a while back. I pulled out what I had. And, you know, if I'd used half a bottle of something and I had two of them open, you know, I've, I've tried to put one into the other or finish one up first. But maybe a wee inventory is a good idea. So it's my nephew's birthday coming up soon on the 6th of April, Lachlan's birthday, he will be nine. And I messaged him to say, what would you like? So he said, I'd like books, bath bombs, pens and pencils. So I've gone on to studio to order some pens and pencils with his name on it because, you know, I, I know how it feels. Like I, there was never anything growing up with my name on it. And I always wanted it so bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think the closest thing I got was Lynn <laughs> without the E. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've ordered him some of those and I've got my gold pen with his name on it because he's he's got he's made up a couple of company names on Minecraft, I think. Um his own coding company. So I'd got the my sister told me the name of those before I'd got them printed. Um but I thought I might do that for Christmas time or just as a wee treat and um, pop some on. So what I've done in the meantime is why I'm telling you this is just in case they don't arrive, I've ordered some Crayola. Um, I've not ordered, I've bought some Crayola felt pens and some Crayola pencils. So if the other ones do arrive, I can pop these in a wee package and give them to Freya. I always like to do that when the, you know, when it's one of the kids' birthdays. I've always done that with my own boys and when, Brandon was born, somebody came along and gave me a present for Stephen, which I thought was really sweet. And somebody actually gave me a present for me because I said, you've done all the hard work, Mum, there you go. So I am trying to be kinder to the planet. I am trying bit by bit. Um, so I picked up, this is really good, the Sanex um, Dermo Invisible 24 hour antiperspirant. It's a roller ball, but so the roller ball sits like that actually. So it's almost sits like it's upside down, but um, it's a really, really good one. So I purchased another one of those. I think it was about 98 pence. This is about 99 pence, the Sure Bright Bouquet. Um, so it's a, it's a kind of roller ball as well. Oh, that smells amazing. So I am trying to get away from where I can limit using cans with CFC gases and whatever. I don't know if they've got any of that in it anymore, but where I can get stop using cans and things that are not great for the environment, I've been doing that. So I've switched to roller balls. Um, it's not to say I won't get the odd, you know, antiperspirant or the odd body spray. Um, but the body sprays that I've got at the moment are the Soap and Glory, and it's just the pump, so there's no um, aerosol. That's what I mean, no aerosol. And I do actually have the receipt in here. Yeah, so the bold was two ninety nine. The Crayola, they were both one eighty nine each, um, and the toilet tissues were two for a pound. The Febreze was the starter kit was four pound um, forty nine. As I said, color absorbers ninety nine pence. Bath salts two ninety nine. Um, lozenges eighty nine. Oh, the cherry menthol ones were fifty nine pence. The soap was ninety nine for two, and the roll ons were a pound. Um, which is fantastic. So I've also picked up the the compostable 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 one hundred percent compostable the the food waste bags. Um, I don't always actually use these because we don't have to use them in our um. They they just take the big the food goes in the garden waste bin, which is different to my old house where it went in a bin and you had to use these or paper or, or plastic bags. Um, but these um, disintegrate um, and they're good for the environment, better for the environment than plastic bags. So that was, how much was that? 99 pence. So it's a caddy liner. So they fit the little caddies that you get. Um, I don't tend to use those because I must admit, they're fine to use apart from if anybody puts onion peelings in, then it just stinks. So what I'll tend to do is if I'm if Steve does a lot of batch cooking at the weekend, so I'll just put one of those by the side of them and he'll put all the, the veg trimmings and things in, in those. And anything else, like a banana skin or whatever, I would just put it straight into the the bin. So yep. You can get those from your local library and places like that, but they're all closed at the moment. Um and I think last time I was in the library, they had to sign up saying no, no kind of compostable um, bin bags. So I thought, oh, well, I'll just buy them. I don't mind buying them. And, oh, I've broken up the packaging here. This is dual action um, throat lozenges. So they've got that local antiseptic, that horrible thing in it, hexyl resorcinol, um, which makes your throat feel a bit numb. So I've actually had in the past the sprays and the liquid when I had a really sore throat, but I hate that feeling of the numb throat. I don't know if it's just me, but that's horrible. So that is like a, it's almost like a, <laughs> a knockoff, isn't it, of the, the more expensive ones. Or we'd call it a dupe, wouldn't we? We'd call it a dupe. So that was about a pound, I think, for that. Yeah, 89 pence. And... Oh, I picked these up as well, the 40 handy bags. I use these as bin bags. Um, 
I wouldn't use them for <laughs> shopping to be honest with you but they're like carrier bags I use them for pedal liners as well and um, so they come in really good to be honest with you it says they're very strong which they seem to be actually um so yeah it saves you using you know when you buy the 20 pence bags and they're really quite thick plastic it saves you using anything like that as a bin liner so I use these which is what I used to do with thinner plastic bags but I keep the thicker plastic bags and I try to always remember to have them on me now I went to Home Bargains today hoping that I could get some of the Real Technique brushes but I couldn't but um, they did have a couple of Eco Tool ones so I picked up this Precision Blush um, how much was that the Eco Tools and that was $1.99 soft for sensitive skin because I needed a new um, I need a new powder brush, not a blush brush. So I'll use that as a powder brush. And last but not least, I've got a couple of things here. Now, these are things, if you watch my channel, that I've been talking about for ages. I want to start a new hobby. I want to do this. I want to do that. So so one of them was crocheting. Never got around to doing that. And I spoke to my friend and she said, oh, one of my friends, Joe's really good at crocheting. And another one of my friends was like, I just couldn't pick it up at all. And I said, oh, I fancy cross stitching. And she said, well, pick something that's easy. And I was looking online and, you know, you could get the patterns and things to print out and you could order the sets, but I kind of just never got around to ordering anything. So when I saw this in um, Home Bargains, I thought, I'm going to get it. So it's a cross stitch, it's a sampler and it was one ninety nine. So that's it there be kind and uh, I've actually got the be kind um thing that I got from my sister in mother's spare room so I thought this would be lovely um and I think it's a really good way so it has the cross stitch fabric the embroidery thread the needle the hoop and the instructions so it's got everything that you need um and at 199 I thought oh you can't you can't actually go wrong with that so obviously the frame's not included. You can pop it in your own, your own, your own, your own frame if you wanted to do that if you if you so liked. But um, yeah, I thought I'm looking forward to hopefully sitting down with that. Depends on how the hands are feeling. And this next one is something that I've always wanted to do. Um, so it's a knitting starter kit. So this was four pound ninety nine. Um, here we go. So it's quite a big box. So it includes yarn, um, bamboo knitting needles, stitch markers a stitch counter, a crochet hook in plastic, and two yarn needles. So there you go, that's what you get. Um, do you want to see inside? See if it's worth the 4 .99. I think it is, because I was looking at different things that showed you how to knit, and it was they were much more expensive online. Um, so you get the wool, so the wool. You get four balls of wool, or yarn. Um, Oh, two big ones and two, so two big ones. Um, now, if I was a knitter, I would know the grams of that, wouldn't I? So two times 100 grams and two times, so this must be the 50 gram one. Um, and here's all the different bits and pieces in here. So the crochet hooks, the needles are plastic as well. So if you wanted to get this for like a kid, it's quite a good idea, isn't it? There's these different bits and pieces that they call in. Um, stitch counters, stitch markers, um, and the needles. And they're not plastic anymore, they're actually bamboo. I do remember sitting with one of my mum's friends who's a wee bit older who knitted, and her had a her needle had a wee turner that you could do for every row. You can knit one, pearl one, <laughs> and it does have some instructions. Now, the thing that I used to struggle with was actually um casting on i think how you cast on that so does actually come with different techniques so it's really quite exciting that it's got the crochet as well so what i probably will do to be honest with you is read this and then hop on to youtube and find a tutorial and then i might come back and let you know how i've got on um it doesn't actually give you anything to knit, I don't think. Um, so I will let you know how I get on. <laughs> Although my husband said to me one time that he hated the sounds of the needles clacking away when his mum used to knit. So I hope it doesn't freak him out too much. But for four ninety nine, do you know what? Even if I I just play around with it and it saves me kind of sitting on my phone for a couple of hours, then I'll do that. But you know, 
for a couple of pounds if you had a youngster that was interested in learning to knit or cross stitch i'm probably quite old to want to learn to knit but um yeah joe sent me an amazing scarf that she had crocheted and i just thought i don't think i could ever do that but um yeah so i'm going to try knitting and i'm going to try cross stitching i sound like a pensioner don't i but apparently these things are you know they're <laughs> yeah i'm old but a lot of old, younger people are taking part now and you know, things like knitting circles and kind of, it's all online now, isn't it? But I just thought, it's something I want to do. As long as the old hands don't give me too much jip. Um, yeah, it's sitting knitting. <laughs> Looking forward to trying it anyway. So what did I spend in total? So Brandon also got a couple of sweeties. Oh yeah, they had Milka, Milka chocolate strawberry bars. Um, so those were three for a pound. So yeah, he, he got those. So in total, we spent £34. But um, I think I got quite a lot for the £34. And as I say, if I hadn't got those sample kits and starter kits and three evolution, it would have been a lot cheaper. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.